What's up guys, JD here from Affinity Collective Tech, and today we're gonna to be talking about air pressure, or more specifically, positive, neutral, and negative air pressure inside a case and why it matters. A lot of factors can influence temperatures in your PC, case configuration, fan layout, and air or water cooling, just to name a few. To start, let's go over what these three different pressures actually mean and how they affect your computer. When you have positive pressure in a case, you have more fresh air coming into the case than hot air. The opposite is true of negative pressure. There is more hot air exiting the case than fresh air entering the case. Neutral pressure inside a case is when the amount of air entering and exiting the case is equal. Air doesn't just enter and exit the case by where the fans are placed. All along the case are cutouts, vents, and little gaps that air can and will enter or exit through. The pressure inside the case changes the effects this can have on your PC. In a positive pressure environment, remember more fresh air is coming in than exiting, the extra air in the case that isn't getting exhausted is actually blowing out all the little holes and vents in the case. During a negative pressure environment, air is actually coming in through those same gaps and vents. So why does it matter to PC builders? Well, it comes down to two different factors. The first one is temperatures. If you can have more cool, fresh air coming into a case than exiting, you provide a much better cooling environment for your components because the heat can transfer to the cooler air and then be exhausted. The second factor is dust control. Having too much dust in your system can clog up fans and actually decrease the cooling ability of your system. We can show you how to clean out your PC properly here. Now a common misconception is that having positive pressure automatically decreases the amount of dust in your system. Well this is true, sort of. It only works if all your intake fans are filtered. If they aren't, the dust still enters the system. Positive pressure is what I personally recommend. Negative pressure will actually suck in dirt and dust that's in the air through the path of least resistance, which means all the gaps and vents in your case. This is why I believe personally in positive pressure. As for neutral pressure, it is actually fairly difficult to obtain with cases today, due to all the different restrictions at the front of the case. This is a lot of information just to throw at you, so let's sum everything up. Positive pressure is when you have more air coming in than exiting, and all the extra air is blown out through the gaps and vents. Neutral pressure is when the same amount of air is coming in that is coming out, and negative pressure is when more air is exiting than is coming in, and air is being pulled in through the vents and gaps to fill the void. Here's my current setup. There are two 140mm fans in the front of the case, a 140mm in the back of the case, and I have more air coming in the front of the case than I have exiting the case. To achieve this, you need more static pressure or RPMs on your intake fans than on your exhaust fans. It is always best to try and obtain a clear path for the air to travel through, so do your best when cable managing around major components. Remember, aim for positive air pressure in your case. It will help control dust and lower temps in your PC. Let us know in the comments below if you guys have any questions about this topic. While you're down there, drop us a like, and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to help support our channel. As always, we'll see you guys next time.